The one at the very top is called Sheer Drop with the goats, and they couldn't get it in a gallery, so he had to buy it from a private owner or private collection, and he paid 2000 for it then. Wow. Eating the candy. What about you, Shane? I was thinking the same thing. Oh, there's another one. No way. Oh. In this video, we have some more of the awesome, awesome collection. This gentleman, unfortunately, he has a downsize. His wife passed away, and they had an unbelievable collection of vintage antique stoves and cannons plus some other awesome toys we're gonna go through some more of that guys and then you'll see i go to this lady's house a very very nice house very well to do um walk around that house you guys get to see what, what i see when i go through houses so hey rob take it from here all right we have so much stuff from the people we got all these awesome antique and vintage stoves cast iron cannons all kind of cool toys we have more of their stuff to go through a lot of the boxes i don't even know what was in there they were already boxed up when shane and i went there so i can't wait to see what's in there once again if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe hit the bell get all your notifications you never know what you're going to see in the stuff all this stuff you see today you can bid on at www.secondsense.com this auction is march what 8th may 8th may 8th oh march i'm sorry may it's already april people oh look at this and a lot of the cannons are already up on the website. Let's see what else we got here? Oh. Oh, it's a tin toy. <laughs> Nothing creepy about that, Shane. Hello, little bunny. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, look at this one. I love these old tin toys like this, Shane. And right here, it's marked on the back. It says Mar Japan. So that's who made this toy. Oh, it's working. I'll get a couple more. Very cool. These old tin toys like that, I just love them. Let's see what else we got in here? Oh. oh, too bad it has a crack on there, but look at that, that's old. It's like a bobblehead duck. Bobble duck. Bobble duck. Bobble duck. Another tin toy. So this one looks newer. Doesn't look as old. It might be like a pullback. Oh no. Um, we'll see. Ha <laughs> ha. Everybody's Peter Cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. It's not working. Looks like it's made by Mattel. We got many, many, many miles. I don't know. All kind of stuff. I love these two. They have great collections. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's an old, old doll right there. Like sorry, sorry for interrupting, but we'll get right back to going through some more of those things. Let's go to the house real quick. Take a look at the house, guys, and then we'll go back through some of these awesome, awesome toys. You won't believe some of the stuff we find. Holy smoke. Big old house. Patricia? Let Patricia? me come outside. Hi, how are you? I Robert. thought you were going to call. I did. I called a few times, but no one answered. Oh, my phone must not yeah, be ringing. I left you a message, too. So, sorry. I hadn't checked it yet. How are you doing today? Okay, I am fine. My only problem is, is I would have someone here 
for my dog. Let me try and get the dog out on the deck okay. so that then you can come in. Okay? okay. No problem. All right. Thank you. Oh. I'm going to shut the door. This is a list of china and other glass and things that she has in her china okay. cabinet. And she made a whole list and photoed everything on these lists. There's Royal Dalton okay. China. Um, there's the, um, Crystal. There's all kind of different things. A lot of nice, nice glassware china. Definitely some high-end stuff. She also has a bunch of sterling silver and artwork. We'll check out some of the furniture in the house in a few minutes. But this is the list. Pretty extensive. She definitely was very, very she's a very, very detailed lady. As you can see, the list keeps going. Tailgate. Yes, the dog's name is Tailgate, and he keeps barking. So let's go take a look at some of the stuff inside the house here. And that's like just the beginning. So I'd say it's probably like about two and a half, three feet tall. Probably about 24 inches across. And there's two of them. I see right there's another one. Now in that broom straight across is a round desk. In here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. And that's unique too. And, and I've had glass on top of that the whole time. So there's really... Yeah, moving that piece of glass. Woo! <laughs> yeah. That's kind of cool though. I like how you have the seating. I like the cheetah here. Oh, thanks. That's cool. In the loft is, hey, you talking about the orange. Yeah. Orange Ethan Allen. Oh, that chair? Yeah. The wing back. Well, this, the, well, I have mostly all wing backs. That's nice. And then the bedroom has the Ethan Allen, the two large. Uh, Holy. What call them? Yeah, like the wardrobe things there. Right. Yeah, you got two of those, and then you got this crazy bed. Yep. Woo! That was an expensive room. I could imagine. <laughs> buying a bed like that. Because it's all solid. And then you got this bedroom set. Well, now those are a different company. A good company, but different company. That one, and then the one on the other uh, Oh, yeah, you got the whole set. I like the tall, like, lingerie chest one. Uh-huh. That's a nice set. And then you got the, like, French Peroncio over here. But it's in good condition. Good. Well, I had two girls. They were rough on anything. I like the dream catchers. The like the dream, the Native American, like, dream catchers here. Oh, yeah. Those are cool. cedar closet that's a lot of stuff Christmas stuff Awesome. That's just a girl. 
garage. This light here. Wood burner down there. Yes. That's nice. Yes, it is. Yeah, I got one in my house. Uh-huh. I like this guy in the wall here. Yeah, that's a uh, rubbing. Lord Trumpington. Westminster Abbey. Yeah. 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 Like umbrella stain coat rack. Love it. Now I forgot to tell you, on the dining room table is a black box. Oh, a photo box. For the the items that I itemized last weekend on those sheets. Uh huh. I have an individual picture of each item. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that, we have the exact same box. Oh really? Yeah, we use that one, and we use some other ones. Okay, that's what. This is nice to tell too. You this piece is very nice too. It's got just a little bit on top here. Yeah. That elephant's cool. Oh, well then, you yeah, like the giraffe piece over here. Oh. Just watch when yeah, you're stepping. Nine. I was collecting them for my little monster. Uh. Let me turn the light on. But there's a giraffe up there, too. Oh, yeah, I see. He's cool. Different. Some, some steins. Huh? I said some steins. Yeah, right. A little bit of everything. I see a fish. And these are all Ethan Allen, but not the recliner. My daughter caught the fish. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. At Deep Springs. 1987. You know, my birthday. Oh, really? Yep. So you remember that. Rainbow trout. It's a nice fish. It looks beautiful. I just like the color on there. Yeah. Like but if reddish. my other daughter doesn't take it, I may have to sell it. Uh, See where the dog's hanging out. Well, I need to monitor what he's eating and what he's drinking for the vet. Because he got dehydrated. Oh, man. So, and I use the recliner a lot so I can watch him when he's drinking. Right. Make sure he gets enough water. That's tough. How do you know he's dehydrated? I mean, I'm dehydrated. Uh, he was under the weather, and I took him up to the vet. And I did not know myself. But one of the things she said, he's dehydrated. Which, so by saying that, I thought, okay, no use making him go all the way to the kitchen for water i'll give him some water here and he does he drinks it just about a cup of that uh, one of those bowls three-fourths of it every day the one at the very top is called sheer drop with the goats oh my gosh and my husband bought it for me in 1987 and they couldn't get it in a gallery so he had to buy it from a private owner or private collection, and he paid two thousand for it then. Wow. Sheer cliffs, you said. Sheer drop. Or sheer drop. I can. You want me to look that up here, Sam? No. Oh, okay. Mini, mini, mini mouse. I don't know. All kind of stuff. I love these two. They have great collections. Oh wow. That's an old, old doll right there. Like a best doll made in Japan. Got a paper, got some arms there. There's another doll in there somewhere. Oh! Mr. Tambourine Man, play me. Uh, how's that song going? You know the song I'm talking about, Sam. Mr. Tambourine Man. What else we got in here? So many toys. <laughs> See if this one works. Man. Mattel, Los Angeles, California. You know, Mattel hasn't made anything in Los Angeles, California for a long time besides money. That's about the only thing they're making in Los Angeles, California. 
But we'll be making some of that money off of this stuff. Oh, look at this one. That's kind of creepy. It works. Crown with a lot of these old tin toys. Yeah, looks like he might work. He flips the book. <laughs> no way, he closes it. And he opens it. Look at Pretty cool. They don't make stuff like that anymore. Or like this. And we know why they don't make stuff like that. Because <laughs> that's pretty ugly. Man, look at these. That's like a... Everyone just have a little... Happy Easter! You can't have Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse without Mickey. Now we got both hand puppets, so those are the set. We got the little ducks. Little lead soldier, or I guess a little, let's say a sailor. Unbelievable. I love this old stuff. Like, there's so many cool things we found, and oh, speaking of cool, that's an old tin friction car. That eh, might be actually a repop. Yeah, look at made in China. But this guy has so many old things, so. But just to play with this stuff. You can tell that's old. Hello. Old wood toys, another old puppet. I believe that's from Howdy Doody, maybe. It doesn't look like Bozo the Clown. It looks like uh, I forgot with the Clown Knuckles or something. I don't know. What's the clown from Howdy Doody's name, uh, Shane? Yeah, right on it. <laughs> that was a joke. We do a quick uh, Google search. Another little tin. This one takes a key. You got to wind it up and it cuts. Man, we got so much. More rabbits. So obviously they like Easter toys. They like cast iron cannons, stoves. Who knows what else we'll find. I mean, that looks like an old little stife. Looks like it's missing an eye. This thing's been through battle. Old gym. Oh, there's one of the keys we need. See, look at this. Like an old little stove or refrigerator or something, I don't know. But this key here might fit our little our little chick. Pack away. Hours of fun. Who needs video games? You get a stunt plane right here. This dude, he'll just fly around. Later, he's taking off. Oh. I thought he was actually gonna go for it this time. And every time I think he's gonna make it, just nope. <sighs> Look at this, it's like a jump rope dog. I wonder if this one works. There's a key in here too. This will be cool. If this one works, I might just have to leave the room. gonna say man this thing started jump roping i mean i'd be out i'd start jump roping maybe every day me and that dude just start jump roping together all of a sudden like rocky music plays -da -da -da. pop-up book oh look at that see that it says 1934 up here from aunt denny i love aunt denny so let's see what year this was actually made 1933. This is right when Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse came out. Let's see, there's more. Oh, there's another pop up back here. Very cool piece. Not in the greatest condition, but just for it to be in existence. That's why I love my job. I love what I do. You never know what you're going to see. You know, you go from a. 
Look at this duck family. Let's see this one works. This one's gonna work. That's gonna get a couple more lines in here. So I know it's way maybe. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Here's the other one we had for the other arms. Yeah, I knew we had those other arms for a purpose. We got three of these little girls. Check out this vacuum, Shane. Do you vacuum at your house, Shane? I do sometimes. There you go. You can take that home. <laughs> got a lot of little chick. A rabbit. And these tin toys, some of them are new, some are old. <laughs> I don't know if that's a gerbil or a rat. It says flips. All right, where's our key? Let's see if he flips. Think he's gonna flip magic? I don't know if he's gonna do anything. It's probably... If he flips, I'll flip. <laughs> oh. oh, he don't flip. He bounced a little bit. Anything else great in this little box here? Yeah? You know. Oh, look at this. That's a bird in a box. It's another little tin toy you wind up. So, we got all these boxes to go through, guys. There's so many great things. I mean, there's, of course, can you believe it, Shane? A cannon? A cast iron oh cannon. Oh, my God. And we probably have. I feel like I've seen it before. Another cast iron cannon. And this is an old one right there. See, it has a mark here. And these actually will shoot, guys, and you could, there's another mark here. So you guys probably know a lot more about these than I do. But man, these people had so many cool toys. We'll have to clean up this mess. Who knows what else we're gonna find? Look at these little dudes. So, I'm excited. I love toys, love my job. Let's see what else we find. All right, so much more to go through, guys. I opened some of these up <clears throat> just to speed up the process. That's pretty ornate right there. Very detailed cannon. Set up, I mean, oh, wow, this one's heavy. I don't know if it's cast iron or brass. Could be. Wow, that one looks really old, Shane. Oh, this is wood, it looks like. It's like almost like folk art. Look at the tires on that thing. That is cool. That's why I love my job, just seeing all these cool things like this. This guy had every type of cannon you can imagine. His wife, there's these nice porcelain little dolls here. We have the tin type toys. Another one, it almost looks like that one, but smaller scale. It's like a lead figure. This whole thing's full of lead figures. Oh, what's in this? Oh, no way! It's a tank made of glass. Remember, people in glass tanks shouldn't throw stones. Right, Mike? That's the same, though, something like that. Man, that is so cool. And it's so heavy. I mean, look at T E. I don't know if someone like made this, like a machinist made this, or is it actually like a toy that kids bought back in the day? Here's another cool one. This one looks like a machinist made that. It's so smooth, the lines. So, I guess if you love cannons, if you love old toys, if you love records. No, we don't got too many records in this auction. We might add a few. So you're not going to make it to the other auction chain. You know? Mm -hmm. Look at that. See, this was an old toy. You'd get your candy in here, and then you'd get the car. You could use it as a... And the candy's still in there. I'm thinking about eating the candy. What about you, Shane? 
I was thinking the same thing. Oh, there's another one. No way. Oh, oh it's a tank. Right there. Miniature war tank made in glass, filled with candy pellets. Victory Glass Company. That's pretty cool. So, you just never know what you're going to see, what you're going to find. And we got so much more to go through from these people. And I'm assuming this is another artillery thing. This is the wheels, though. That's an old piece, though. Wow, wow, wow. We got a whole other box here. I think it's all just cannons, cans, and more cans. We'll have to open these all up. Oh, It's a little different than the other cannons. I always like to see. And I see it says Buddy L Toys on the wheel. So you probably pull his back and would shoot. Pew. Pew. Very cool. So we'll open all these up. We'll show you what they look like. Who knows what else we'll find.